guys and welcome to the family fudge and welcome to another episode of bunches of lunches valentine's day edition now on last week's video i shared so many valentine's day lunch ideas and if you'd like to see that video i'll go ahead and put a link up here and down there but i had a lot of requests to show valentine's day breakfasts as well so that's exactly what I'm doing this week. But I have a disclaimer, you guys. I usually like to put a lot of effort into my lunches to make them fun and special, but I don't have as much time in the mornings for the breakfast. So when I made these lunches this week, I tried to be realistic. I tried to make them cute, but I also only had a little bit of time. So keep that in mind. These are realistic for anybody to make. Now on to the weekly shout outs. This week it's going to Abiha Ather and Unicorns1109 for leaving me the first comment on last week's video and on Instagram. Now let's go ahead and get started. Good morning guys. Good morning. And welcome to Monday. So I'm just finishing up the kids breakfast. It turned out super cute today. I started by making some heart shaped cinnamon rolls, but these are actually chocolate cinnamon rolls. I've got Jackson here helping me say good morning. Good morning. So I took my cinnamon roll dough and I rolled out each piece and then re-rolled it up into the shape of a heart. It's very easy to do, but a little bit messy. Then I popped those into the oven and got started on my eggs. I just cracked up a bunch of eggs, scrambled them with some milk, salt, pepper, and seasonings, and then I put them in my heart-shaped silicone baking pan. I also added a little bit of cheese on top. I cooked those for about 20 minutes and now they are done. They're piping hot and they came out really cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and squirt a little bit of ketchup in each of these compartments. The kids normally like to have ketchup, a little bit of ketchup with their eggs. Now to go along with that today, I'm also giving the kids a half a cup of milk and some sliced up bananas. Does it look good guys? Yeah. Are you hungry? Okay guys, breakfast time is over and you can probably tell they did really well today. Now, Lily did end up sharing some of her eggs with the other kids, but what did you guys think? Was it good? Yes. yes. What was your favorite part? The cinnamon roll and the eggs. The cinnamon yeah. roll and the eggs and the milk and banana. You liked all of it? But Lily, what was your least favorite part? The eggs. The eggs, yeah. She wasn't a super big fan of the eggs. Oh well. And we'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, guys, and welcome to Tuesday. Good morning. Good morning. So on Tuesdays, we don't have a lot of time, so I wanted to make something really easy today, which is cereal. I thought that these looked very Valentine's Day-like because of all the pink and the berries. So these are basically a filled shredded wheat cereal. And to make it really fun, I picked up some of these bowls from the Dollar Tree, where you can actually use a little straw part to drink the milk from the cereal. Does that look fun? Uh -huh. yeah. I'm not sure if it's gonna work, we shall see. Uh -huh. Now over here, I made some really fun skewers with just some cut up kiwi and a little strawberry that's in the shape of a heart. In the cups, we have just a little bit of unsweetened apple juice, about mm, three ounces or so, with a cute little Valentine's Day straw. In this corner, I have something that my husband makes, and it's basically like a homemade vitamin gummy. He makes it with elderberry and honey and gelatin, so it's to help the kids stay healthy during the flu season, and I think it really works. And lastly, in this corner, I have some of these pre-cooked chicken sausages. These are really nice and organic from Costco, and I like them because they're fully cooked, so all I have to do is heat them up, so it's really fast. Are you guys hungry? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and pour the milk, and then it's ready. Okay guys, breakfast time is over and I see that they did not eat it all. Actually, Mackenzie did a really good job. She uh -huh. ate everything, but Jackson and Lily left some. What happened, Jack? I don't really like cereal like that. You don't like, really like cereal? Kind of. I thought you liked cereal like that. I do but like you liked your fruit? Like but you had your fruit and you had everything else, so that's not too bad. And what happened to you, Lily? Uh, I was just full. You were full? You didn't like your um, kiwi? It, it was really sour. It was sour, but it's really good for you. So what was your favorite part? The juice, uh, my the cereal, and, and the strawberry. My favorite thing was the sausage. Mm -hmm. My favorite thing was the sausage, and the juice, and the everberry gummy. Well, that's good. And we'll see you tomorrow. Good 
morning guys. I just finished making breakfast and I'm running out of time. So I'm gonna quickly show you what I made. I went ahead and started by making some pancakes. I took half of my pancake batter and I dyed it pink. That way I can make a fun heart design. Now to go along with this, I'm also serving some blueberries, which I added to a cute little Valentine's Day pick. I have a heart-shaped hard-boiled egg. I just use my egg molds to get it into the heart shape. I have one little teeny piece of bacon over here and some milk with a fun straw. Now instead of using syrup today, I went ahead and just put a little bit of whipped cream with some pink sprinkles just to make it fun. Does it look fun, you guys? Whoa, cool! Okay, cool. you gotta eat it quickly, then we gotta brush our teeth, and then we gotta head out the door. Okay, friends, there's not much to say about this breakfast because as you can tell, they ate all of it. So I think they really liked it. I've got Mackenzie here with me, and I've got Lily. Hi! Hi! So you must have really liked breakfast today, huh? Yeah! So they had the pancakes, the egg, the bacon, the blueberries, and the milk. Lily, what was your favorite part? I really like the milk, the bacon, and the pancakes. Do you prefer whipped cream on your pancakes or syrup? Uh, whipped cream. Whipped cream, yeah. What about you, Mackenzie? I like the bacon, the eggs, and the pancakes. Yeah, Mackenzie's a huge fan of hard-boiled eggs, aren't you? Yeah. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Good morning, friends. I just finished up making the kids breakfast and it came out really cute and it smells delicious. I started by making some coconut French toast. For the French toast, I used some eggs, milk, and brown sugar, but I also added some coconut flavoring. And to make it fun for Valentine's Day, I used my heart-shaped cutter to cut out the bread. For extra coconut flavor, I cooked my French toast in some coconut oil. When the French toast was done, I added a little bit of maple syrup, and then I also sprinkled a little bit of this coconut cashew butter granola on top. So more coconut flavor and a little added crunch. Does it look good, you guys? Yeah! I gave some to Griffin already, and he loved it. Now to go along with this today, I'm also serving some slices of banana right over here with a cute little pick just for fun. And I also have some turkey sausage. These are the all cooked turkey sausages, so they're really quick and easy in the mornings. Now for our drink today, I went ahead and just gave the kids some milk and I added a little bit of red food coloring to make it pink. So it's not strawberry milk, it's just regular milk. And I added the fun little heart-shaped silly straw. Are you guys ready to eat? Yeah! Okay. Okay guys, breakfast time is over and as you can tell, they ate everything. So they must have really liked it. What'd you think, Mackenzie? It was good. What was your favorite part? I like the toast and the sausage. Mm -hmm. You guys did really well today. Thanks, and we'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, guys, and then welcome to Friday. Today's lunch turned out super cute, and I have Mackenzie and Lily here helping me. Hi. This morning, Lily helped me to make some banana muffins, which are really easy to make. I just used the mix from Trader Joe's. So we popped those into the oven and then I got started on my eggs. Now here's a quick tip you guys on how to make easy scrambled eggs in the microwave. In the microwave. I started with a glass container that is safe to go in the microwave. And then I just added one egg per person that I was trying to serve. I got those in there, I added a little splash of milk, some salt, pepper, and seasonings. And then I just whisked it with a fork. Next, I popped this into the oven for about three minutes until it was cooked all the way through. Now, once this comes out of the microwave, I can go ahead and let it cool down for just a second. Then I like to turn it out onto a cutting board and slice it up. So you basically have scrambled eggs in a mug. Now I do like to add a slice of cheese on top, that just makes it extra tasty. And then as you can see here, I went ahead and added some little googly eyes just to make it fun. I did give the kids a little heart-shaped ketchup right down here to dip their eggs in. They're always big fans of that. Then to go along with this today, I did heat up some chicken sausage right over here. And I put a cute little heart pick just to make it fun. We have a little bit of milk with our fun silly straw. I did a kiwi and the muffin that I showed you earlier. So it's ready to go. Are you guys hungry? Yeah. Thank Do you. Good. You're welcome. Okay guys, it looks like they did a really good job today. What did you think, Mackenzie? It was cool. It was cool. Did you like those eggs? Yeah. That was really fast to make them that way. And yeah. it didn't make a big mess either. Yeah. Lily, what was your favorite? The muffin, milk, and sausage, and... That's it? Good job. 
You did a good job making those muffins. Yeah. What about what about you, Jack? What'd you like? Uh, I like everything. Everything? Well, you ate everything, so I think today's breakfast was a win for sure. Mackenzie, what was your favorite part? I liked the sausage, the muffin, and the eggs. And I even loved this little smiley face. <laughs> see that? That's really cute. And we'll see you next week. Okay, friends, thank you so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.